What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your King, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we started journeying after all the rest of the stray beads that we need to get in this game so we can complete it, including finishing those stray beads in Shinshu Field, finally. And in this episode, we have Snowball Playground. Such busy writing, must have been some kids fooling around. This door is finally open to us. I love this area. This area is actually very adorable. I love it and I hate it at the same time. This is Otter Mask. Woohoo! So much warmer since Ezra Fuji erupted. I came out to play in the snow straight away and I make a, made a gigantic snowball. All of the grown-ups complained about the snow. But we kids love being outside. It doesn't matter how cold it is. Why don't you try making a big snowball too, Wolfie? I'm only a kid, so this is the biggest I can manage. But you're bigger than me, so you should be able to do better. Just keep on rolling that one there. I get really, really huge. I Well, by proportion to size, I mean... Con I'm as tall as you. I don't know, man. I don't know. Here, let's let's check out your beast form. I oh my gosh, that looks awesome on his head. It's so cool. I love the freaking their freaking dog forms. I'm sorry. It just it makes me so happy. Anyways, we have this snowball here. Yes, we have this snowball here. This snowball is every bit as annoying and painful as you might think it is. Luckily, this is not the quest for a stray bead. This here. You do not have to do this to get a stray bead. This is not 100% necessary. I'm going to do it anyway because one, I'm sadistic. Two, I like to show up everything in the game. And three, I'm sadistic. But the stray bead is actually buried in a chest at the south end of this area. But yes, I am going to be rolling up this snowball and getting it as big as I possibly can for this kid so that he can just give me a somewhat large amount of praise. It's going to be fun. So we got ourselves a white porcelain pot here, so let's get that. And I'm actually going to go right over here really quickly and get that stray bead. Where exactly? There it is. It's right over here buried in the snow. So this is actually the last stray bead here in Webcare. we are getting this. And like I said in the last episode, this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode because we've got all the rest of the stray beads aside from the last, I mean, you know, the obvious Kamui Devil Gate trial stray bead to get. So... I'm going to roll this up, but I'm not going to even speed up. I'm just going to cut to when I'm done. You kind of get the idea, though. You have these mounds of snow here, and the more you roll it into them, the bigger it gets. That's really the whole gist of this entire side quest here. And actually, the bigger it gets, the better it sticks to you. So, it's really not that bad, honestly. Like, it really isn't that hard to push this thing around the more you roll it up. So, I don't know. Just don't push it into the water, for one. That really sucks. Don't touch, push it into the fire, obviously. That sucks even worse. And yeah. Okay. See you guys in a second. Alright. There we go. And I probably should have mentioned also that you do not have to ro roll over every single lump. You do have to make it pretty big. It takes a little bit. And he is pretty darn picky about it. But he loves it. And it's almost scary, but really cool too. Definitely the Snowball King of Kamui now, Wolfie. And he gives us 50 praise for it. So if you're low on praise, this is a good one to do it for. First Toll Building King and now Snowball King. Boy, you sure have a bunch of silly titles. Yeah, but you know what? I'll take it. There's also two more treasure chests I still haven't shown here. So I'm just going to get those really quickly. Let's see what we got here. We got a crystal. Okay, that sells for a lot. I mean, we've been only getting those since the beginning of the game. What? And, oh, I love this song, too. This is a really, really good song. I think this one's called There's Something About... Uh, or Thank Goodness for Kokati or something like that because it originally plays with Kokati. So, I, but I don't know. I still I still love this song. It's really, really good. I think it's a great song, and I'm glad that it plays whenever you come to this area from now on, which is awesome. So, let's head on out. And now we have two stray beads to take care of in Ezofuji. Before heading over to Yoshpet and getting those, which will actually be the last of the stray beads that I have yet to get. So, two in Ezofuji. And I really shouldn't have missed these in the first place at all, honestly. I'm just, I'm, I'm very unobservant. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I know where they're both at. They're both right below Afun Gate. Alright, so here's Afun Gate. And by the way, oh, I never mentioned this, but if you missed any stray beads in the Waku Shrine, you can always go back in. Just saying. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to use Vine here really quickly. I'm going to head over this way. Let's see here. All right, let's jump on down. And actually, in the dry digging spot, there is a, thir a chest that I completely freaking missed next to all the clovers. Good idea. Good job, me. How did I freaking do that? Ugh, it's not even hard to see that poking out of the gray, I guess. 
And then the other stray bead is, uh, it's not on this one. I'm trying to remember exactly. Okay, I think it actually might be over by where Cherry Bomb 3 is obtained. Because it's not here, and it's not on the ledge up above, but I know it's on this side of the lake. Actually, no! And, oh, well, I just turned to daytime. And actually, no! It's not over there. It's from the spot. There's a there's another clover that I completely missed. Well, actually, I didn't miss it the first time. As you can see, I got that treasure chest there. But I was stupid and never ran over this way because I missed both the clover and the treasure chest over here. Good job, me. So this tre this is obviously going to contain the stray bead. Let's open that up. Ta-da! And then we have the clover. And actually, I think before I head into Yosh Pet... I think it's go time. It's about time we finally take care of that freaking monster contract for Wally because the poor guy's been just scared out of his mind that all these igloo turtles are just staring at him. You know, I mean, the poor guy. He needs. He needs. He needs some closure here. So let's let's go take care of those last four, not five igloo turtles because one of them decided to be a dick and chase me down earlier. But let's go take care of those igloo turtles. Finish that, and then we will head into Yosh Pet. Okay, here we are in Kamui. Let's make it nighttime and let's start hunting down these monsters. Now these monsters actually, I believe, are not really the easiest to find. They're actually pretty difficult to track down. And here we go. Okay, so we have to deal with these freaking fools. Good. I am again just going to uh, speed this segment up just to make it easier on everybody because I just... I, I'm sorry. I, I don't like commentating over this part. It's just... It's obnoxious, it's tedious, there's nothing to say, I'm just fighting enemies as always here. But it doesn't even feel like there's a purpose to it. I don't know. I mean, well there is, when I actually come across the demons on the wanted list, but the rest that I just run into... Oh, and, the, you, and then you're probably like, well why don't you just run away from the fights? It's because I like my godhood, you know? I like maintaining that godhood. And as I've said before, that was a terrible wind. As I said before, running away from fights lowers your godhood. So, I don't want to do that. So, I, I will see you guys in a second. Well, actually, the first one right here is over by Wally's hut. It's right outside his door. So, I guess this one is just consistently staring at him at all times. So, let's take this guy out first. Let's actually hit it a little. Look at how much that sub-weapon does. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous, yo. I love it, though. At the same time, I freaking love it. Alright, come on. Down you go. Let's use Solar Flare. Melt you. Well, away. Come on. Finish him off. And we can get the Floral Finisher. Perfect. Frozen Penitence defeated. So that makes two, three to go. Alright, let's just cross that name off. Did, wait, does he, did he just call them an ass, him an assassin? Like another assassin down? Is that what he, is that what he said? I don't think they're, these guys are assassins. I think they're just bad guys that give people... They're like, they're like that creepy old man that you see on the subway, you know? They just stare at you all per, and, you know, they kind of give you perverted looks and it's just, you just feel uncomfortable. But in all reality, they ain't doing nothing. Wrong, anyway. Is this the one the exercise? Which one has the exercising arrow? I can't even tell. I think... I think... Uh... Here, let's let's get rid of... No, that, okay, that's the regular one. Kill him, and I guess I'll just full finish him, because why not? Now let's actually kill this one. Come on. No, 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 oh, I should have used time. That was stupid. I should have used mist. No! You need to die! Come here! Don't you throw those at me. Hey! That was very rude. That was very, very rude. I did not appreciate that at all. And quickly do that before I accidentally screw up the full finisher! Stalking Blizzard defeated. What a name. I think it's funny that he's gotten their... Like, how do they have the names of these demons on them? They don't wear name tags, right? They don't have, like, that Staples name tag that says, Hi, I'm Stalking Blizzard. I mean, they're just demons. I'm like, who gave them these? I'm sure Wally gave them these names. So in reality, we are really are making this list up because we're just like, oh, it's an igloo turtle that took a little longer to kill. Yeah, it's it's definitely 
That's definitely Socket Blizzard. Gosh dang it, there's so many of these Dogus, it's ridiculous. Holy crap, you guys, just chill. And let me use Mist and, and cut to the next one, please. Alright, and here's the next one. Not actually far from the rest. They all seem to be very, very close. I don't think any of them are over by where the um, the the origin mirror is, actually. So, Or the save mirror here in Kamui. So, I, I guess... I don't know. I guess they're just all over here by Wally. So, that, I guess, makes it a lot easier and also kind of makes sense. They really are the creeper old men on the subway that just look at you weird and that was a mistake. Okay, can I... Register my fire, please. And also, you can die. Alright, let's see here. Let's use mist real quick so I can get some time to actually well on this guy. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And where's my fire? Where's my fire? Where's my fire? Where's my fire? Give me my fire! Yes! And the camera exploded. No, it just, it just, just, just seized up a little. It's okay. It'll be fine. Just need some tea and a, and a nice bath. Yeah, okay, call them assassins. That's, that's good, Isun. They're definitely assassins. Alright, all we need left to, to fight is Snowy Stigma. Wherever the heck that guy may be. Is it you? It is not. Oh, hi, you. Man, I'm just the best at getting the treasure chest. Also, I still have not found... That last Devil Scroll. Where in the world could it be? Because there's only one I have not even fought. But I already know what's in it. And it's definitely not the monsters I'm looking for. Could it be this guy? I didn't think it was going to be this one. But maybe it is. Indeed it is. Snowy Stigma appeared. Let's take this bastard down. Alright. Stupid guy with one foot. Who do you think you are? Right? Stupid. You stupid. You're just as stupid and stuff. Stop being so stupid all the time. Gosh. Dumb. And also I have the sub reflector equipped as well. So right at the moment because I had to use it for a second. And thus my attacks do a lot more damage. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Which, by the way, is definitely the combo you're going to want to use for the delegate trial. I promise you. Another assassin monster down. Snowy Sigma. Well, I mean, you don't have to use Reflector combo necessarily, but I... Why did that not count? But I highly advise you use two of the same type of weapon together with that dojo upgrade because that is going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Now, let's go turn in this wanted list before heading into Yosh Pet to get the last three stray beads. Excuse me, Wally, I need to speak to you, sir. We need to talk about your wanted list and my horrible impression of William Shatner. How's it going with those assassin monsters, Wolfie? And you showed him his record of penance. Wow, all their names have been crossed out. You did it, Wolfie. You finally did it. Now I can go to the toilet again without looking over my shoulder. Hey. You know, I don't know where you're, this toilet you're talking about is. But, well, I guess in, unless you're, like, peeing in a bush or something. But, dude, your toilet should be in, like, an, I don't, I, you know, I'm never mind. Thanks so much, Wolfie. I don't have as much to give you as a reward, but you can keep this as a token of our friendship. And we got a gold dust. You told me to put Kamui in danger like that, and I had to rely on you to fix the mess I made. I'll become strong enough to fight my own battle from now on. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Let me just upgrade. If I can get to the actual menu without screwing around too much. Upgrade my Tundra Beads. You know what? Okay, never mind. I have a really good idea of what I'm going to do in the Devil Gate Trial. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, let's head into Yosh Pet. Solar Flare looking as cool as frickin' ever. I love it. Oh my gosh, the best divine instrument ever. Best weapon in any video game ever is what my opinion is beautiful okay look who's here Amaterasu what in the world are you doing here well honestly I knew you'd come back with those hearts 
Okay, well, someone's in love. When we ran through the forest together before, I was really surprised to find that you could keep up with me. No one's even come close to beating me in a race before. Ever since that day, I've had this burning question in my head. Which one of us is the fastest? I'm absolutely desperate to know once and for all. And that's why you came here too, right? So, shall we race? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we'll race to the forest to the clearing. Whoever gets there first is the winner. Remember how I said you want to bloom all the trees in the forest? This is why. This is exactly why. This race isn't easy. It's, I mean, it's, it's not terrible. But it's not the easiest thing in the world, okay? It's a pain in the absolute ass. Oh, well, I actually missed one right there. If you have to deal with those guys all freaking day. So make sure you bloom them when you're not having to race her like this or you're screwed. And also, you, there's no way in heck you can stop and take the time to bloom them because there's no way you're going to do it. There's absolutely no way. And I need to not slow down. I probably don't even need to pick up time orbs because I really am going to be able to make it through this in five minutes anyway. So just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. And we're actually kind of kicking her butt. Although she is going to catch up to us as soon as we get to the next section, I believe. So let's go hard right. No stopping. So, all right, there are three segments to all this. And be careful with the snowballs and the icicles that fall down because they will royally screw you in this segment. Oh, yes, they will. So just keep a vigilant eye. Run, run, run. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, and jump. And I'm actually doing way too good, honestly. Oh, unless that happens. Okay, let's not let's not have that. Now, thankfully, this time you have solar flare when you're going through it, so you can just melt away those icicles with ease without having to draw the frickin' inferno. And, ugh, fire burst is what it's called. Sorry. I keep mixing up the names. There we go. Ice segment is the worst part, for sure. We are crushing her. I have no idea where the heck she is, honestly. And you know what? I don't care. I don't even care. So let's just keep going. Shortcut through this way, because she is actually going to be dumb and take the long way. And I believe this right here, if I can open this up in time, contains our stray bead, so we can grab that in mid-race, and now continue along. <laughs> oh my gosh. Killing two birds with one stone, right? Now, yes, what I am doing here, this race, obviously, is necessary for 100%. I mean, it, it needs to be- Look at that! She caught up! That's not fair! There's no- I was kicking your- I was kicking your ass! Get back here! Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh! No! You can't do that! That is very rude. I am very much offended by this. This is not okay. You come back here right now. I am in- I am in light, speed, god mode. You- you- no, shoot. How the heck did she catch up with me, honestly, though? Like, really? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, now. Oh, I can do this, 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 I can do this. Don't hit an icicle. Uh, go, 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 on the snow, on the snow, on the snow. Yeah, lead is mine. Take that. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going faster, faster, faster. Almost. Uh, there. Keep going. And it looks like we've done it. What now? But, but that's not possible. I ran as fast as I could. How could you possibly have managed to get past me like that? Well, I'm sure that's what all the other people who said who raced against Usain Bolt. I ran as fast as I could. Still doesn't mean you won. I suppose this is what happens if you take on the great Amaterasu. And so we get 50 praise. Well, it's a kind of a relief in a way. Ever since the first time I met you, the only thing on my mind has been which one of us can run faster. I was losing sleep wondering about that. Thanks for finally putting my mind at ease. Now I can see you off on your travels without a heavy heart. I'm praying for you to have a safe journey. Here, take this. Two stray beads left. And one of those is in here. Not this place again. Boy, you're weird. Well, for ball, you gonna go in or what? Water in a pumpkin? Yes. And get in there and do what you gotta do already. I'm staying. Nothing is gonna change my mind. This is like how my mind could get ruined in such a gloomy place. Okay, Isun. Whatever you say. I personally like this place. Now we need to go visit somebody. I think we owe them a visit now, considering we're almost done here. Gosh. I'm trying to avoid that melancholy feeling of this ending, you know, but this is my game, guys. When this is over, it's over. That's something. Hello, Wolf, here to pay another visit to Ishaku. That's code for yes. 
I'm assuming that means yes. He's been full of energy since your last visit. It's quite incredible. He even regained his eyesight. And they give us 50 praise for it. Oh, that's so cool. Now let's head on inside. This village is blessed with light from luminous moss. That's why no one else has noticed, but I can feel it. The day of darkness is almost here. Don't look at me like that, Ami. Yes, you're right. I do have a grandson. His name is Isun. Even when he was small, he had the potential to surpass me. I expected a lot of him. So I trained him really hard, but it backfired, and he ended up hating painting. I doubt he'd even pick up a brush nowadays. If you'd ever bump into him on your travels, please tell him that I'm praying for his happiness. And give him this. Ninety-eight. It's all I can do for him now, but I love my grandson more than anyone could ever know. Look at that. Just look at that. <sighs> that is amazing. Now you're probably wondering, because I did say that we need 100 stray beads to complete this game at perfect 100%. And we only have 98 now with one left to go. Well, just to put your mind at ease, the last stray bead is obtained by completing the game with 99 stray beads. So it's kind of a gimme if you've completed the game game with 99 stray beads. So that's how you get that one. Now the good news is, just want to say this. Let's get out of here if, if you're done. All righty, soon. Now the good news is about Stray Beads is this game, when it's over, I'll just say this now, has a new game plus feature. And because of that, your, actually your divine instruments, save for your final three, meaning Solar Flare, Tundra Beads, and Thunder Edge, all carry over into the next game. And so do your Stray Beads, so you can always go back and just continue what you started, albeit though you do have to play through the game again. And you're much more powerful. But what's really cool is if you can manage to finish it on your first playthrough and get all 100 straight beats. That's really where the reward lies. Now, I would fool you and like start like this, or end this video all ominous at the foot of the cave or, or foot of the cave, the mouth of the cave and be like, oh, yes, we're about to we're about to fight the Kami Devil Get Trouble. We're not. Not immediately. Are you stupid? Why would I do that? No, we have yen to spend and demon fangs to spend. I'm going to spend those all of those before I head into this place. Are you kidding me? Holy crap, so let's do some shopping real quick, just as in preparation here. And wow, I'm never going to use a single one of these feed bags. I don't know why I stocked up. And actually, let's sell real quick, because we have a couple treasures I can sell here. Might as well. And yeah, might as well sell our feed bags, because we're actually not going to use these. Sell our mermaid coin. Oh, I have two more, okay. Because we definitely don't need those. Sell our feed bags. And yeah, let's buy. Exorcism Slip L's. How many can I get? I can get a lot. I think I will take... How many do I have? I have 23? Let's go 22 to equal, round out to 25. Steal Fist Sakes. Let's get 22 to round out to 30. Steal Soul Sake. Same amount. 30. Let's see. Holy Bone L's. I will take 28. And then what else do we got here? We got more exercises. Vengeance slips, definitely. We're going to need about, oh, I'll say uh, 37 of those, 50. Uh, we got plenty of yen to spend still. Shoot. Okay, let's go with another 20 of these. Let's go with another 20 of these. Or no, not 10. 20 of these. Uh, let's go with 25 more of these. Let's just round everything out to 50. And yeah. yeah I don't need to spend the rest of that yen. I'm just going to off-screen what I go do when I go visit the Emperor to spend all my Demon Fangs that I have 404 of. Holy gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. And I will be spending all those off-screen for... And really, all I'll be getting out of it is Golden Peaches and Godly Charms. But ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we begin the Devil Gate Trial, the final Devil Gate Trial for the final Stray Beat in this game before we finish this game for good. We're so close. This Devil Gate Trial, I just want to say now, I will be commentating over, but I will be post-commentating over it. <sighs> and here's why. In the finale, I don't want to interrupt any of it with talking about my love of this game. Once we board that arc, 
I want to just let it play through and just let you guys experience the finale all on its own. But I do want to go off and tell you guys everything I love about this game. I want to say, I want to finish that top 20 favorite games of all time list with my number one and talk to it or talk to you guys about it. So next episode... I'll see you in front of the Devil Gate. See you guys then.